Hey guys, Clint here, Cairns Dive Adventures. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about shooting your camera in underwater mode in RAW, um, bringing those photographs into Lightroom and exposing them correctly, uh, trying to get the best out of your photo, uh, moving them across into Photoshop to finish your photo, ap apply the finishing touches, um, and then add a special technique, something that I add to all of my photographs, which I hope will be of benefit to you. All right, so let's go without further ado. We're back, all right. So the first thing I normally do is open up um, Lightroom. Uh, bring in your photographs, okay, so file, go down into import, photos and videos. Uh, once you're into that section, then input all your photos and videos. Up here on the top right hand side, this is basically a few options that you'll use. You'll look at your library, you'll look at develop. Um, once you've got your shots uh, loaded in, I click on develop. Choose a photograph that you want to work on. Um, so at this stage, I'm looking to work on uh, this image here. Um, it's a bit overexposed in the center. It's very dark on the outsides, but not too bad. But shooting in RAW will really let us work with this. It's gonna be a lot easier to work with um, now that it's in RAW and we have a lot more information there. So um, on this side over here, um, you've got your panel where you can adjust your exposure, your white balance, contrast, highlights, shadows. So first of all, with this photograph, I'm going to um, pull down my highlights just a wee bit. Um, I, I generally always keep an eye on the center bit here um, and you know try to get those highlights working as nicely as possible. Um, probably at this stage I'll grab my white balance dropper here and just click it on onto the image itself. Um, and once I've done that, pull back out. So choose something that looks white or that you know a, a coral that is white underwater. Um, choose that um, to white balance your photograph. That can be sometimes hit and miss. Probably the best thing to do is have a white card underwater at the start of your shot at that depth. Take a photograph with the white card. So then as you're now back in Lightroom, you could rebalance your photographs, but that's a lot of mucking around. Um, so I usually just use the white in the coral color. And that's generally pretty accurate. It's not too bad. Now, I have pulled down my highlights. Um, I think I'd even pull my highlights down a little bit more. My shadows, which is sort of um, your bottom end colors, sort of pop those a, a wee bit more. My whites, I might just sort of tweak the whites so they're whitey, whites are white. The blacks, I might even pull my blacks down a little bit, just that'll give it a little bit more depth. Um, and I kind of, depending on the photograph, like I mean, this is pretty, not, not a bad shot. The strobes were pumping hard and there was enough light pushing out on both sides of, of the camera. Um, but you could push your vibrance up, okay? So I just tweak my vibrance just that little bit there. Um, if you press Y on your keyboard, you've got a before and after, okay? So um, the before shot was quite yellow. Uh, we've int introduced a bit more magenta into the second shot. So um, I'm kind of happy with that. I like it. I think it's, it's sort of doing what I want it to do. So really, I would not change much more of it apart from sort of pulling down those highlights, um, maybe push the exposure up, maybe a notch, um, put your shadows up, uh, pump your whites up a bit, pull your blacks back and add a little bit more vibrance to that image. Uh, um, that's looking good. So I'm gonna right click that image and hit edit in Photoshop. So this is gonna open up Photoshop. Now, I like to do my cropping. You can do awesome cropping in um, Lightroom, but I like to finish my photos in Photoshop. I'm a lot more comfortable in Photoshop uh, than I am in Lightroom. And uh, basically here's where you can do all your cropping. So say you were gonna crop for Instagram. Um, uh, if, if you click on the crop tool, just on the left-hand side over here, um, up the top here, you can basically um, choose uh, different ratios. So, you know, typically Instagram's one-to-one. -one. Okay, so if you choose that option, it'll bring up that square look for you for your Instagram and you can bring it across really have a good look at how that photograph's gonna look on an Instagram screen. Um, gives you the, your rule of thirds lines as well, so definitely use those to your advantage, but I sort of would probably pop that, like so, hit enter. Um, 
you know, that is definitely looking pretty darn cool. I definitely like uh, the look of that. Um, down the bottom here in Photoshop, you've also got a whole bunch of masking tools and different things like this, but um, I tend to definitely like levels. So bringing up levels uh, allows you to tweak your photos just that little bit more. So this left hand slider, um, uh, on your levels, this is going to be all your bottom end colors. So if you really want to pump up your blacks, you can you can squeeze that across. Same with your highlights. If you want to pump up your highlights, your mid tones, if you know you could go blow them out or pull them back. Uh, <coughs> it's really easy to overdo everything as per normal in all of this software for sure. Um, I'm quite happy with that photograph now. So the last thing that I uh, like to use is a thing. It's um, it's called the Night Collection. It's DXO uh, Photo Lab. Um, it is a plugin. Um, you do have to buy it. It is an add-on plugin, um, but it is just phenomenal for f um, finishing your photographs, applying filters right at the end. And I mean, there's a multitude of filters and stuff out there now for mobile phone users. Um, but with inside of Photoshop, Night Collection is just unreal. Um, I like to use Color Effects Pro 4. So if you click that. It's going to pop up and basically once she loads we've got a huge filter library here on the left hand side so you can basically scroll through all of those and you know end of the, the name of the game is go through and play trial error trial error but hopefully these tips today will give you some ideas on, on sort of how to fast track that um, i like to use pro contrast on the left hand side here so um, looking at our main image uh, on the screen here, um, Pro Contrast, just some really powerful contrast tools. And if you want to pop your photos, and once again, don't overdo it, um, you can rebalance your photos, punch your colors out, um, use your little toggle, your arrow at the top here, before and after effects. And you can already see that just really takes it to another level. Um, I'm super, super happy with that. I'm going to hit OK. Um, that will bring in the adjustment layer. Bam! That photograph there, I'm pretty darn happy with that. I'll definitely push that out on Instagram tonight. Um, I like to resize uh, my final images here. So um, most, most images are going to be displayed on Facebook or Instagram. If you're definitely pushing out for social media, um, I keep the resolution as high as what I shot it at, but I always put my widths and my heights at around 2000 pixels. So that still gives you plenty of detail, plenty of information inside of your photograph um, so that when you are displaying on a high resolution iPhone screen or iPad or, you know, large computer monitor, it's still going to look wonderful. Um, if you press Control, Alt, Shift, and then S, you're going to get saved for web. So this tool here is just fantastic. Um, and this will just convert it uh, to a JPEG and then pull pull down your sizing. So um, this is not too bad. This is saving in at four megabytes. So that's not too big. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to hit save. Um, and then I always save this to a cloud server. So, you know, I, I typically use OneDrive um, and that's going to be somewhere that you can save your imagery, uh, which then you can get onto your phone. Uh, and this is pretty well cool. Um, I have Instagram folders set up. So, you know, I will go inside here. Save, save, save. Done. All right. So that's the finished image. If we go into full screen mode and have a quick look and we can zoom in, get an idea. I mean, that's our finished image right there. Um, and it's trial and error, trial and error, but start in Lightroom, um, get your exposure correct, work with your white balance, pull your highlights down, push your midtones up, um, pull, push your whites up and really pull your blacks down. Um, uh, and then right click the photograph and edit in Photoshop. And that's where you want to play with your levels a little bit more. I like to do all my cropping in Photoshop as well. There's a whole lot of masking tools and stuff that you can do too. Um, and then finish out your photos in Night Collection by adding Pro Contrast. Um, there's another thing in Night, Collect Night Collection called Detail Extractor. That is also really, really good. Anyway, hopefully that's been of some assistance. Um, please let me know uh, if you have any further questions and I hope I can get some more uh, tutorials out to you soon. All right, talk soon. Close your eyes for a minute. Close your eyes for a second. I won't change my mind. Watch me.
What does getting deep now? What does getting? 